This here is the Photon 2 development board from Particle. The Photon 2 is a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth enabled development board with a host of IoT and machine learning features. This showcase of the Photon 2 will cover the features of this board and then we'll have two demo projects and tutorials for you. One is a machine learning tutorial where I'll show you how to create your own local voice assistant and another being an IoT motion sensor that you can use to trigger Home Assistant actions via the Particle Cloud. More on that later. This video is sponsored by Particle and their Photon 2 board. Thank you to Particle for sponsoring this video. Now let's take a closer look at the Photon 2. Basically, the Photon 2 is a development board which makes use of the P2 module. More on that module in a moment. But on the board itself, we have a micro USB connector, we have two buttons, one being a reset and the other a user programmable mode button. There are three LEDs. One is a blue user programmable LED, a charge indicator LED for the onboard LiPo charger, and this LiPo charger uses a standard LiPo JST connector. And finally, there is an RGB LED, which is used as an indicator for a variety of different modes, and you'll see a bit more about that later. There is also an SWD header, and um, that's pretty much everything on the board that's supporting the P2 module. All of this is packed into a board with the feather form factor. So that's the same pin layout as the other feather boards. It measures in at 23 by 51 millimeters. As a side note, I really like that the pin labels are actually printed on the sides of the, uh, the pins. Uh, not something I've really seen that often. Now, if we take a closer look at the P2 module, which itself is separately available, this module is powered by the Realtek RTL 8721DM microcontroller and this hosts an ARM Cortex M33 uh, processor clocked at 200 megahertz. On board there is 4.5 megabytes of RAM, 3 megabytes of which are available for user applications and there's 2 megabytes of flash storage available for user applications. In terms of connectivity it features both 2.4 and 5 GHz Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 5. There is an onboard PCB antenna as well as a micro UFL connector if you want to add a more powerful antenna. All of this and access to the free tier of the Particle IoT platform is available for a normal price of $17.95. But as a special offer for our viewers, you can use the code Learn Embedded to get 20% off now I'm going to go over one of Particle's unique features and that is their Particle IoT platform which is an all-in-one platform including the operating system that runs on the Photon 2, cloud connectivity which allows you to do things like securely send data and do things like over-the-air firmware updates as well as um, features like a web IDE and all sorts. Uh, this platform is free for up to 100 devices which should be plenty for most people watching this video. Setting up a Photon 2 is really simple, and you can do it in your browser. To set it up, simply go to setup.particle.io and create an account. And then you want to set up a device with a USB port and connect the Photon 2 in the window that appears. When you go through the setup, you might have to reconnect a couple of times, but Particle OS, so the on-device operating system, will be installed or updated on the device. Once complete, you will need to add it to a product um, in your personal sandbox. Create a new product, then give the device a name. From the options, select your Wi-Fi network from the list, and once connected, you should see the status RGB LED breathing a cyan color. And this tells you that it is connected to the internet and the uh, particle cloud. If you go to the cloud console, you can see your device. And from here, you can do things like see the health and connectivity of your devices, and even their recent activity and cloud events like messages and logs and so on. To write code for the Photon 2, you can use the web IDE, but there is also a VS Code environment which I will be using. It's called the Particle Workbench, and installing it is simple. Open VS Code, and in the Extensions tab, search for Particle Workbench and install it. Once installed, you should see the Particle icon in the left-hand toolbar, and clicking it will open a welcome page where you can create a new project. Configure this project for the Photon 2 by selecting the configure for device and then the OS which at the time of this video the most up to date one is 5.5.0 and this is the one that we've just installed on the Photon 2. 
From the workbench, we can flash a device locally or even remotely over the air through the particle cloud, which is something you might want to do if your device was remote and you weren't physically plugged into it at your computer. So what kind of projects would you make with this board? Well, Particle are focusing the Photon 2 towards machine learning and IoT applications. So why not try both? We're going to start with our machine learning focused example, which will use the microphone from the Particle machine learning kit to listen out for a keyword, in our case, Photon, to perform an action. And in this case, the action will be to send an MQTT command to the new Home Assistant Green that I am testing, uh, and this MQTT command will trigger a light switch. If you want more detail on how to follow along step by step, then check out our written tutorials along with source code linked down in the video description. To start with, we're going to use Edge Impulse to sample and categorize audio from a microphone. I simply provided it some audio of me saying photon and some generic background noise. With this data collected, I designed the impulse, which is essentially a machine learning uh, pipeline, and then we classify the data and train the neural network. After this step, I did need to do some tweaking, um, adding some more data to improve the accuracy of the model, but once I was happy with the accuracy, I deployed it as a particle library that we can use directly on the Photon 2. Um, Edge Impulse creates a model that you can directly import into VS Code and is super, super easy. In the main file, I added some code to send an MQTT message when the trigger word was detected. My Home Assistant Green is running um, a Mosquito MQTT broker and the MQTT integration. And when it receives a message that says triggered, it will trigger a switch. Um, and the switch in question is a Sonoff Wi-Fi enabled relay switch to my lights. It works like so. Photon. Photon. So, for our next project, I wanted to create an alarm using the infrared motion sensor. And this alarm will send me a telegram message when motion is detected. This project uses the passive infrared, or PIR sensor, from the Particle Edge ML kit, which is wired up to the 5 volt and ground pins of the Photon 2. There is only one signal wire from the sensor, which is triggered high when motion is detected. I've wired this up to a standard digital I.O. pin. This signal stays high after movement is detected for as long as the potentiometer for the time is set. We're also going to use the Raspberry Pi IoT server that we have previously created on this channel. The code is very straightforward for this one. We are using the particle publish function that is part of the particle cloud suite of functions. Bit of a mouthful that sentence. This allows us to easily send information and messages to cloud applications. In this case, our Node-RED instance. In the setup of this code, we set up the PIR signal pin as an input and connect it to the MQTT server. Then, in the main loop, we poll the sensor to see if the pin has been switched high. And we do this every couple of seconds. If the sensor is high, we send a particle cloud message. In the node red flow, we use the subscribe node to receive messages from the particle cloud. Then, we use a function node to generate a telegram message, which is sent using the telegram send node. I have a video explaining how you can use telegram with node red in the video linked in the cards above. Now I could leave this project here, but I wanted to add an actual alarm sound when motion sensor is triggered. To add a speaker, I'm going to make use of the feather form factor of this board, and use an Adafruit Music Maker breakout board, and a feather doubler, which essentially just links the pins from one board to the corresponding pins on the other. The SD card in here will store the alarm sound file. I used Particle's Asset OTA, or over the air, feature to bundle the sound file with the firmware that I flashed the Photon 2 with. And this basically means that if I wanted to change the sound that is played when the alarm is triggered, I don't have to manually edit this file on the SD card. And I can even update the firmware and sound file remotely over the air. Now when the alarm is triggered, an alarm sounds as well as a notification being sent to me. Just a reminder that if you want to learn more about both of these projects, then we have written up tutorials in more detail on our website, linked below. I hope that you have enjoyed this showcase of Particle's Photon 2. Thank you very much to Particle for sponsoring this video, 
and be sure to check out the Photon 2 using the link down in the video description. Thank you very much for watching, if you've enjoyed this video then please leave a like and consider subscribing. Let me know down in the comments what sort of projects you would make with the Photon 2.